Agnes Morehouse, Sir Humphrey. Ah, uh, Agnes. Why don't you sit over here? Now, Agnes, the Prime Minister is really worried about your attitude to the police. Oh, good. <laughs> so, he's proposing a wholesale reform of local government. Street representatives, voting communities of a couple of hundred households, total involvement of the whole borough electorate in the selection of candidates. This isn't serious. Oh, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> this strikes at the very heart of our democratic social reforms. What do you mean the people don't want your policies? Well, of course they would if they could understand. <laughs> the, the ordinary voters are simple people. They don't see their needs. They can't analyze problems. They need leadership to guide them the way they ought to go. And don't you think the people would vote for such leadership? The people don't always understand what's good for them. Oh! <laughs> I do so agree with you. Do you? Well, of course! That's how the civil service has survived the centuries. <laughs> we made this country what it is, but nobody would ever vote for us. We know what's right for this country. So do we. The only way is to have a small group in charge and just let the people have a mass vote every few years. But if they actually got to know the people they were voting for... If they actually got to talk to them, then they'd fall for all the silly conventional ideas. Humphrey. Agnes. <laughs> this would be a disaster for you too, you know. I know. Community councils always lead to regional government. Agnes, we must stop the Prime Minister. You want to stop him too? Well, of course, and you must help me. How? Well, I think I know how to do it. But I want your written assurance that you will stop harassing your local police. I mean, stop making them democratically accountable to you. <laughs> it will remove some of the urgency. Right. What do you want me to say? Well, I thought it might go something like this. <laughs> oh, Humphrey. You're a great loss to the militant revolution. And you, my dear Agnes, are a great loss to the civil service. 